In this video, I'm going to show you a fun new way to use your electronic devices at home. So if you have a microcurrent machine or you have the Time Master Pro or any sort of device, I'm going to show you a fun way to get even better results. Keep watching. Christine Beyer here, licensed master esthetician for 20 years. So I have prepped my face, I actually just did a mask, and now I just wanted to show you some advanced moves with the mini, or with your microcurrent device. Starting out with the manufacturer's routine is great, but a lot of times we can improve on that based on our particular issues. So that's why I love microcurrent so much, because it's very forgiving while you're learning what works best on your face. If a move makes your face look weird or doesn't feel good, you just stop that move and move on, try something new. So really microcurrent is a great device. And that's why it's been, it's just grown and grown since I started to specialize in microcurrent in 2003 and it's done nothing but grow in popularity because who doesn't want tighter, more toned muscles on their face? I'm gonna put up a picture of the vectors right here so you can see what I'm gonna be doing. I've actually already done, whoops. <laughs> I'm using the rest of this Exeter mask and it's just juicy. There's so much liquid in here. This is a Korean sheet mask that you can actually do microcurrent over, which is pretty fantastic. And Time Master Pro and any, any other electric modality, you could do it through that mask. I don't know if I would do radio frequency through it, it would dampen that treatment, but you can do others, which is fantastic. These vectors, they basically counter common areas of facial sag, a common facial aging patterns. So as we get older, we lose fat padding, we lose some bone, and it's a very gradual process, but this soft packet or the soft envelope that is our skin and our muscles and our fascia, and our SMAS, the fat and everything, that sort of falls forward and down. And so these vectors are a way, it's a common way in dermatology offices when they do a radiofrequency treatment, they'll go in and counter facial sagging with these vectors. But we can do the same thing with our microcurrent device. So where this would fit in is that at the very end of your routine, after you've done all your other moves, you would go in and do these vectors. So one of these vectors, this is a really big payoff point for me, I feel like, because it keeps the jowls at bay. And I should be holding this at the top of the beep. <laughs> I think I do it faster just for points, uh, just for reference in the video because this video would be so long if I didn't. So you see how this starts to lift this area, which sags on so many of us. So this vector is a nice payoff. And then we'll go to the other side. Make sure your face is nice and juicy, nice and hydrated, that you got some minerals on your face and whatever you're using. It, cannot be too oily or you're gonna lose a lot of conductivity because electricity and oil do not mix. It inhibits the current. So you definitely wanna get something that's just very gel-like in consistency. I have a very, it's a clean, nice, very hydrating formula that I got so, I just got so many questions of what, what should I use for conductive gel that I went and had one made. <laughs> so it's kind of a simple formula, but it's very hydrating and very soothing to the skin. This is another vector where you go up in front of the ear. So underneath here, and then you can go back behind the ear here. You guys can see it there on the side. Let's see. Uh, this is a vector, so this is going to help with large cheeks. It's going to help start to clear out. This 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 movement of these two prongs, almost like two knuckles, almost like a gua sha tool, electrified gua sha tool. 
and our, our Chinese scraping massage. So you're gonna go in here and really hug up underneath that bone. And that is gonna to work to start to clear out some of that lymph that collects in really, in nasolabial folds and in larger cheeks. So this is a high payoff vector. Uh, you wanna hold, do not do as I'm doing, hold, hold at the top of the beep because certain more advanced devices will rotate through like this device rotates through all these randomized frequencies. And so that's really given this, this adhesion point or the point where all these muscles connect to the skull is giving that a workout. And so it's gonna, see, pop this back out. So good to hold at the top of the beep, especially when you have randomized frequencies, scrambling that signal so the muscle doesn't wanna know what's coming next. Yeah, that's a, that's a good payoff. All right, so let's do that same vector on the other side. So remember, this is the end. This would be after you've done your full treatment. But I guess if you were in a hurry, you could just do the vectors. It's not always going with, uh, you know, 100% right on the muscle, but it is cutting through a lot of stagnation points and it's cutting right through that sag, the sag, the common facial sag that happens right through here. So I'm gonna hold it the top of this beep. And another vector, which I think works better with probably the, the Time Master Pro. It's not a vector, let's see, this is another vector. Let's do this side back here. Another vector is above the eye. I think that really works a little bit better with radio frequency but it can be, mo I'm gonna modify it here. These are also vectors that can be used in fibroblast. And I kind of all came together for me after I took a lot of Isabel Brown, of uh, the famous Avatar lift. She does the specific skin tightening technique called, let me hold at the top of the beep here. <laughs> It's called Avatar Fibroblast Facial or Skin Tightening. And her patterns that she uses to lift the face are, they're very well known in the industry. She just, it's bar none, she gets so much better results than I've seen other fibroblast techs get because of the patterning she used. And you know, she's done thousands of these treatments. So she can look at a face and hone in on your biggest saggy areas and take that swath of skin and know where to shrink. One of her common vectors in the first treatment she did to me was the banana. She did all through here. She calls it the banana because this is, you know, my philtrum gets long. This area is my trouble area. And so that was my very first treatment with hers, this, this sort of vector, but a little bit different. I mean, that, there's downtime with that, but it all sort of congealed in my mind when I saw the way she started working on she started working on faces. And I'm like, wow, well, we're like doing many, many facelifts with our devices, so we can use these vectors. There's another one. I think I forgot about this one. So you start in the middle here. A lot of these you're just cutting across, just these little sausage rolls that happen, <laughs> just cutting straight across them. So, And also know that holding at the top of the beep, I'm, I'm horrible at this, I always forget, but it really does have quite a payoff. Oh, and let me show you the eyes. The eye vectors are a little bit different. They're kind of, oh my God, there's so much juice in this mask. If you would never used a Korean sheet mask, like actually a high-end one, I would definitely check it out. So this is a vector for the eye. And I feel like this works. I feel like when you do the eyes with microcurrent, you really need to make sure that your forehead muscle is worked. This frontalis muscle, it starts here, it goes all the way across the top of the head and inserts back here. So you really need to have this exercised because the opposing muscles are your circular eye muscles, right? And what happens is if you have puffy eyes or a heavy brow, if you work this, 
what's gonna happen is that brow is gonna get stronger and heavier. So what you really wanna do is make sure this is nice and lifted first and maybe not even do your eyes for a little first couple treatments and then start then start like after you've got the brows start to lift naturally because you've been working the frontalis then start working maybe start with just the top but with this device you can actually go right right over the eyelid because it's a low voltage device and it's very safe so it's kind of nice because you know how our eyes get a little wobbly <laughs> 50s and up it's nice to be able to use these tiny little probes to get in there and snap those eyelid muscles back in place i need to do the other side <laughs> with the eyes like i was saying this this vector the whole i feel like the eye vector when you're doing microcurrent would be this whole frontalis so you can use it like but just make sure that you get the whole frontalis but the vector actually says to do this, which works great when you're doing uh, radio frequency, but I think it's more suitable for heat-based treatments. Once you add your vectors to your device routine, no matter what device you use, you're gonna notice an extra special lift because I think most manufacturers don't think about this when they make their moves so they add them to them and see how you do it leave in the comments let me know how you do check out my instagram i give away monthly products on there and we're having lots of fun doing that and that's it talk to you soon bye now